I am Dr. Divya Shri. I am the clinical director, Milan J.P. Naga. I am going to talk to you about recurrent pregnancy loss today. Loss of pregnancy at any point of time can be a devastating experience for the couple. And, in, and when this pregnancy loss happens, again and again that is at least three or more consecutive times which is clinically documented is called recurrent pregnancy loss. The cause for this recurrent pregnancy loss can be multifactorial. It can start from chromosomal problems in the baby or the conceptus which is very common and this problem can increase with increasing maternal age. The second common reason why recurrent pregnancy loss happens is because of uterine issues. It can start from uterine fibroids, adenomyosis, uterine malformations or congenital malformations of the uterus which can range from uterine septum, bicornuate uterus and so on. The next common reason why recurrent pregnancy loss happens is because of endocrine abnormalities. Say obesity which is a burning problem in India now. Apart from obesity it could be because of diabetes, it could be because of polycystic ovarian syndrome, it could be because of even luteal phase deficiency. When I was telling you about the treatment for recurrent pregnancy loss, as the cause is multifactorial, the treatment should be a multidisciplinary approach. For this multidisciplinary approach, we need a multidisciplinary team which involves a reproductive medicine specialist, an obstetrician who specialized in high risk pregnancy, a clinical geneticist, an endocrinologist, immunologist, embryologist and most importantly a counsellor. My advice to couple who have gone through this emotional roller coaster is to be very patient. There is a saying that there is light at the end of the tunnel. So always, always if you are just patient and just be there, the pregnancy can happen and it can continue. So first and foremost is the faith. The faith is very important for you to be perseverant and pursue that treatment to achieve that successful pregnancy. And secondly, be supportive to each other. Husband should support wife, wife should support husband. Most importantly, family should support this couple. As a couple, they are actually targeted or they are just uh, as a machine that, okay, yes, pregnancy, why it didn't happen? Okay, next pregnancy, what happens? Is it going to continue or is it going to be a loss? First of all, couple, uh, you couple are actually, you know, tensed or stressed about what will this pregnancy going to be? What is the outcome of this pregnancy going to be? You have to be together. You have to be very patient. I understand the whole world, including your family, friends, everyone are looking at you and then expecting what this pregnancy is going to be. But just be patient, be supportive to each other and uh, very important is to reach the right doctor at the right time. So be patient and you will get your pregnancy through.